certainly go to the absolute. We can certainly let go of everything and, and, and dissolve into nothingness and, and feel ourselves as, as the absolute. Um, and there's also in that journey from a contracted perhaps state or identification with the story and then relaxing open, relaxing open, relaxing open until, until you're dissolved into everything that is and you're aware of that. And in the very next moment, something begins to occur. The phone rings. Someone walks into the room. You start a conversation. And life is occurring. And something engages itself. And this is beautiful. To me, this is so gorgeous, so magnificent. Um, is that obvious that it's beautiful? Because some people will say, oh, my God, I lost it. You know, you, inter you interrupted. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's, and I think we spoke about this before that people say, well, you know, when they come to satsang and they, they expand out into all that is and they're aware that they are totally uh, open and free. You know, there's a beauty in that. And then they make them, it's just kind of a mistaken idea as if something else begins to play. Um, say somebody's eating a bowl of cereal as, as if in this eating you aren't also awareness eating and you know tasting the uh, soy milk or <laughs> depending on what you use <laughs> with your cereal um, you know in your mouth as you're drinking and you're noticing that that drinking is happening that eating and tasting is happening and smelling is happening and and my goodness I mean the wonderful array of experience of being human I mean this is why I call it beautiful because to me relaxed open to it completely and in enjoyment and in the willingness to embrace all the parts that you are um, no matter how they look whether they look pretty or whether they look uh, maybe dark um, that it's okay it's just to not hold anything away or to find out, oh, holding away is happening, and just to see what happens when you let go, to relax open to whatever it is you've been perhaps avoiding or not wanting to admit. People talk of presence, and in a way, a greater significance of presence is means that you know whatever's here, you can see it. And yes. uh, people uh, are coaching that uh, meeting meeting yourself in some way uh, that's a, that instead of running from yourself. And, and that's exactly what you said when you said uh, the second life icon should just be who you are. <laughs> and maybe you could figure out and meet yourself. And, yeah, then, well, and, and I then, meant actually right here as you are to, to play that very same game, but without the computer, without the internet, with this that's actually occurring, this icon, right? I was just, you know, at one point, Awareness was born into this system of a human being. Whether it's a woman, whether it's a man, whether it's a, a mother, or whether it's whatever this is, this expression. I didn't do anything to make it show up like this. I did not uh, create this myself. But somewhere along the line, I committed to experiencing life with this set of everything that is and to be present to that to enjoy this I mean why not why not be with it to such a great degree that you enjoy it even when you're feeling pain because feeling pain will continue you, you it's part of being human uh, to take away the felt sense you know say if a, a rock landed on your foot would there be pain yes you know, and sometimes it's emotional pain when people lose um, loved ones, and it's not really a losing, it's the change from the physical body into the etherics of uh, being still in contact in heart when someone leaves their actual body, when they depart the um, physical, and even to say they depart the physical realm isn't, um, I'll say, third dimensional realm. Because you can still speak with people who have passed away uh, in heart, in essence, um, perhaps sometimes even more strongly after they have left their mortal body. Mm -hmm.